one of the major pieces of programming which has been instilled into us through indoctrination is really this idea of having to wait for the other shoe to drop to see what's coming next and through societal conditioning we are all trained to constantly focus on where we have been and where we are going but in ways which keep us trapped under these lower energetic grids as our reflections of the past and our anticipation of the future are really based on and focused toward the ideas of traumatic events that have occurred through stories of the past that have been hammered into our psyches regarding war, separation, division, conformity, and the necessity to have an overarching system of governance in order to keep us safe. This conditioning and programming runs very deep and is part of an intricate plan to widen the net of control over the greater cohorts of the collective masses by pitching ideas and convincing individuals that they need to choose a side. Looking back in time with a critical eye, from a place of neutrality and non-judgment, this programming can be seen in finite ways through our societal structures. We can look back at the early 80s, over 40 years ago and identify the seeds for the times that we are in now and how they have been implanted in a way to widen a net over the consciousness through media where we can look back and recall movies like the incredible shrinking woman which is an introductory reflection of the trajectory and pathway for humanity to elect to be governed by greater states of artificial intelligence and we can look back at the other means of media during this time, like the little shop of horrors, planting the idea that nature is inherently dangerous and that we need protection from it. Planting seeds to allow the growth and expansion of increasing faculties within the governing systems because of decisions we make from fear that have been planted into our psyches. We also see it through ritualistic celebration of holidays created around lower energetic states within the third dimensional matrix grid, where historically we have actually been trained to believe that we need our governing entities in order to protect us from other governing entities who might come for us in the midst of the night, and where we are trained to look forward to holidays which we celebrate through consumerism, materialism, and false pretenses of an essence of love that we are conditioned to believe is generated from outside of us, creating great disparity and detachment from our own soul essence. In truth, the holidays that we celebrate have been marketed and branded in a way to drive the masses into materialistic ways of being in order to program the masses into upholding and supporting the corporate industries and entities which have enslaved a global humanity. They are also really smoke screens and mirrors which drive the masses into celebrating these historical events through the repetition of these holidays that we continually look forward to in the future but are really meant to be celebrations of events which were culminated of great tragedy, of murder, of sacrifice, shame, and fear, keeping the greater cohorts of society embedded into the lower resonant frequency grids of conscious awareness, culminated of division, in order to keep those individuals within those cohorts under greater states of mind control through the governing and religious models. You know, all these holidays that we celebrate all have an essence and an energy to them, which are culminated of fear, war, power and control, and greater celebration surrounding this premise of death and destruction. The pillars of this collective societal creation are all founded and created through celebration of events which are culminated of very dark energy, leading to a continuation of societal structures, which continue to allow experiential bouts of dark energy 
feeding more of that creation which it was built upon. And it is only our participation in it which allows it to continue to thrive. And we are in a time now where greater amounts of individuals are awakening to the essence of their soul sovereignty and ability to step into greater states of power and their own sovereign right to choose whether or not they will continue to feed these systems of power and control. And as more and more awaken and rise up from the artificial matrix grid of the third dimensional reality, a new energy continues to gain momentum into growing the creation of new earth structures. The whole of 2024 is providing ample opportunity to catalyze personal growth and change at the inner level and at the global societal level where ways of being are growing in numbers as individuals allow the integration of new light and change their own expression through reclaiming their personal power and putting down the caustic and toxic habit of judgment and allowing the essence of love to be integrated so that it may be reflected from their physical body in order to change the dynamics of the world that we see. And as these individuals rise up into their power and begin to exude an energetic frequency which brings them into harmonic alignment with others who have risen up out of the third dimensional energetic template and into understanding that the essence of war going on in any type of situation only leads to the creation of greater states of war and that at some point in time we each individually have to come to a resolution as to whether or not we are going to be complicit in our own slavery. The reclamation of soul sovereignty and personal power is going to lead to a third of the global population reclaiming their power and rising up out of that grid to create the new earth structures built within the essence of love, of empathy, of harmony and balance for an awakening and consciously aware global society where we learn how to honor and cherish one another through the rising up and where we learn to care for our neighbors, where we learn to set aside our differences and where we learn to really understand that true alliance cannot be achieved by pledging allegiance to any system of division and separation because that gives your personal power and control over to those entities. As greater cohorts awaken into the truth of their personal power and as they clear out the toxicity of indoctrination from their minds and the toxicity of parasitic attachments and heavy metals which are permeating the vessels of their bodies, individuals allow more clarity and light to be filtered through the vessel of the body, leading into greater clarity and awareness, able to be received within this harmonic resonant grid of frequency, creating a new collective mind and creating avenues through pathways in the ethereal realm, which resonate and filter down into that harmonic grid, which come from higher states of conscious awareness and where these ideas can be generated and received in order to how we can construct and move forward into the creation of the new earth structures and systems and into knowing and understanding of divine synchronicity and how to follow it as a society and as we learn to create from our own inner states through reclamation of our own birthright to step into self-governance and autonomy. My name is Misty Dawn. I am a clear conduit and channel for higher dimensional guidance and indigenous energy healer. And I hope this message helps. If this content appeals to you, please join me as we navigate creation consciousness and building anew within these new earth energies.